I was hoping Valerie might stay for lunch. Seems like a nice young lady. Well, there's not much chance of that, I'm afraid. She dumped me last night. Then she came round and dumped me again. Selfish bitch. May I ask why? Why she dumped me and why she's a selfish bitch. She had her reasons. What were her reasons? Oh, leave it, Dad, please. Well, if you must know, I told her. Tell her what? Oh, you know. What your friend did to me when you sent me away to that school. You do remember your friend, don't you? The one that was supposed to look after me because I was scared of being away from home. God, I've had enough. Oi! Mr. Harper. It's time you and I had a little chat, don't you, Simon? No, I'm, I'm quite busy, actually. I'm heading over Joe's later. We're going to discuss some new ideas for a comic. You stay away from Joe, otherwise it won't be a later. You and you are a bad idea together. You're a match made in hell. I don't mean to be rude, Mr. Harper, but I've had enough of drunks like you in my time. <laughs> That's my reason. Yeah, every drunk says that. What has she promised you? Who? Her. The brunette. Hannah. You know exactly who and what I mean. Seriously, back off! Hannah is dangerous. You must have nothing to do with her. Because if you do, she'll creep into your veins like a disease and destroy everything around you. I know! But what do you know? I know her. I made a comic too. And I made a promise. You see those? Your father wrote those. And I drew the pictures. Pretty good, huh? Like father and son. It's been a while, Frank. Isn't it about time you hand me what you promised? I won't let you. This town won't let you. That's not a very nice way to say hi to an old friend. An old lover. You and I would never love us. You loved everything I gave you, but you tried to cheat me. These rooms should have housed you, your family. Leave my family alone. Leave this town alone. You don't cheat me and get away with it. I'm getting there earlier this time. I see a baby. Innocence. Stay away from me. You must. All right? The others, they're not in the tent. Now, I've got a plan. We're going to have to go and find them. They might be in the cave. No! No, 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 Tommy, Tommy, Tommy! Tommy, Tommy listen to me. Look! We're going to have to go and find them. Now, you're going to have to trust me. Please. Tommy. Tommy, do you trust me? You have to trust me. Do you trust me? All right, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Let me get Let's go. So the question is, who else knew that you put Clark away? Yeah, and also, who else knew the exact date when he was due to be released? Well, it was all over the papers. Anybody could have done it with a little bit of research. Look, if that contact lens doesn't belong to Clark, then who does it belong to? I'll call Morris, see if he's turned anything up. No, I'll call him. I know the boys at the lab well. Hello, look, Mr. Smith. Yes, yeah, Peter Harrison. Thank you. Look, I, I don't have much time. Could you give me the results of the contact lens that Simon Morris brought in last night? Are you sure? No. Thank you. Bye-bye. It seems that Simon Morris didn't bring a contact lens in last night. They haven't seen him for days. Apparently, he's at the university. <laughs>